How's it going everyone? It's Ben Foggins, Media Corner, back again with a brand new video for today. Welcome back to another movie review, aka After I Saw. This is going to be the very first episode for this brand new series here, which this is going to consist of my reviews for the films of 2024. So to kick off with this first episode for the series, I'm here to review the 2024 supernatural horror film, and that is Night Swim. Now, this is written and directed by Bryce McGuire, and this is actually based off his short film, and this is also, as well, his directorial debut. And in this film, we follow uh, this family known as the Wallers, which consists of a husband and wife, played by Wyatt Russell and Carrie Condon, and they have two children. And they have just recently moved into their brand new home, and at their home, they have a backyard swimming pool. And things haven't gone too well for the family at the moment because for the father in the film, he used to be a form, he used to be a baseball player, but unfortunately he can't play anymore because he has serious health issues. But once he does move in to his new home of his family, and since they have a backyard swimming pool, he hopes that the swimming pool can bring fun for the children, for his kids, as well as bring physical therapy for himself and all to help him recover from his illness that he's facing and all that. However, there is a dark secret from this from the home's past in which it consists of swimming pool because for the swimming pool, it is actually haunted. And so we see this family try to deal with this whole situation that's going on around them and all of that from this, um, from this um, haunted swimming pool. So that's pretty much the story of Night Swim. Now, there are two things that don't go well here in which it involves horror films and January. And usually when it comes to these two things, they can either be a surprise or they can either be a disaster. However, for last year, it was a big surprise for horror because we had a blast of a horror film that was released last year in which that movie was, of course, Megan. And I had a blast of that film and it was one of the best horror films to be released for 2023. And as for 2022, we had a, a, a really great horror film, which was, of course, Scream 5, which that was another great horror film to be released of that year as well. And um, But as for me going into this film, when I first saw um, the trailers for this film, this one did look kind of interesting since this was a horror film that was, that since this was a horror film that involves a swimming pool and all that, which for that did sound pretty creative and all that. And and I was really surprised to see that uh, Wyatt Russell was, was going to be in this movie as well as for Carrie Condon because I think both these actors are pretty talented. So I was really intrigued to see what they were going to do for this new uh, Blumhouse horror film here. And while I didn't realize that this was actually based off a short film. And so I did watch the short film before seeing this movie and I really enjoyed the short film. And um, this film just this film just came out just a few days ago in which it came out on the 5th of January of this year. And I didn't see this film on opening day because I wanted to see a few other things that came out the exact same day as this as this film was. But I saw this film just uh, yesterday and I saw this having job for free and I still have my ticket for the film here, which I do have right here. And I saw this in a small screening with a fair amount of people in it. And after watching this movie here, unfortunately, I want to say this is another horror gem that I, that I can consider to be really good to be released in January here because... I unfortunately was disappointed with this movie here, but I wouldn't necessarily say this is a really bad horror film here because there are some stuff here that I do like in this film here, which we'll get to them right we'll get to them right out of the way here. For the actors in the film here, they do try their best for the acting talent here. Like Wyatt Russell does his best in the film here, and I thought his arc in the film here was kind of interesting in which he used to be this baseball player, but at the moment he has serious health problems. But once he moves in with his family at this new home where they have this uh, backyard swimming pool things started changing from once he goes inside the pool. And I thought that arc in the film, yeah, like I said, was kind of interesting. And as for Carrie Condon, who plays his wife in the film, yeah, I thought she did a decent enough job for her performance in the film as well. And as for everyone else who in the film, yeah, they do try their best for the acting talent here. And as for the overall concept of the film, it is pretty unique and, and creative as well, where it involves um, a swimming pool that's haunted and all that. But it's execution-wise of its story here, I just really wasn't a fan of because for the overall story here for this film here was just really bland and yeah really dull here yeah, because this film does tend to showcase some predictability that we've seen before in these kind of horror films where it involves like a family that move into a new home and they find out a part of their home a part of their home is haunted and all that which we've seen that before in the past with like in, the, in those kind of horror films and as for the scares in the film here yeah, uh, they were even that scary here yeah, because they were just flat out generic here yeah, and yeah I could just immediately tell like what was going to happen and all that through its tension that this film showcases and all that. In which, as I was watching the film, I was like, yeah, I can tell, like, I can tell like what's going to pop up and all that as, as I was watching the film and all that. And as for like the visuals that we see in the film here, yeah, I thought they were kind of unique here yeah, when we get to see like what's inside the pool and all that, like, like and all that, like, like there are moments where we go like very deep down into the pool and all that, in which I thought that was kind of unique here. Yeah. And as for like the first two acts of the film here, yeah, they weren't even that strong here because the film does tend to showcase some predictable moments as well as some cliches that we've seen before 
in the in like in these kind of horror films and all that. But and while for the final act of the film, I thought it was kind of interesting and all that and all that for where it leads up to and all that. But in the end, guys, Night Swim. Unfortunately, this was not another. This was definitely not another good horror film to be released in January here. Just like the last two horror films that we got in the last two January Januarys that were really good and all that. But um, like I said, there are some stuff I did find myself enjoying with this film here, but there was some stuff in the film here that did leave me disappointed here. But if you're a fan of like these kind of horror films or anything like that, I can definitely say this would definitely be a good popcorn treat for yourselves here. But for me, I this is one I wouldn't find myself diving diving into again to rewatch again here. So that's pretty much all to say about Night Swim. I'm gonna give Night Swim a two out of five. Like I said, there was some stuff I did find myself enjoying with this film quite a bit here, but for everything else that was surrounding this whole film here, did leave me disappointed here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching for my AK After I Saw review on Night Swim, and let me know what you think of this movie if you have seen this already or if you just recently checked this out. Did you have a really great time with this, or was this not really a popcorn treat? As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and this has been Falcon's Media Corner signing off.